Okay, first off, sphere unwrapping. Why are you asking this? I hate it. But let's just go with the flow. Basically, if you have a regular sphere and you have generate map and coordinates on, and you disable real world map size, and you go to the unwrapper, then you already have a decently unwrapped sphere. It also depends a bit. I mean, if you actually want it to be better, you probably want to press this, but. Yeah, uh, <laughs> I hate spheres. So let's do something I occasionally do. Make well, most of the time I just make a box. Let's just make a square box. Old school one on eight, twenty-eight, one on twenty-eight, and one on twenty-eight. Put it right there. And let's give it ten segments on each side because why not? And then go to your own rep. Basically, what you can do is probably sticking both bottom and the top. Yeah, that's okay. No worries. Claps all. And then get to the sphere file. I'm sure they're in Maya and Blender also has something like this. And there you have it. Nice sphere. Editable poly because I like those better. Go to the unwrapper. Select this one. Deselect that part. Break it. Uh, there, break. Yep. Oh, apologies. Disable back face coin. There, break it. Same for this. Break it and save this. Let's break some stuff there. And now let's select this one and that one. Snap and this one. And this one snap. Oh, wait, no. First, this one. That one. I'm not explaining what I'm doing, but I'll do that in another video, real quick. Just showing you how to properly unwrap this. Uh, snap. Why does this always happen to me? Okay, let's see. Uh, okay, and then those. Snap. And select those. A bit one too many on each side. Yeah. Snap. And this is the unwrap for your sphere. I'm sure you can probably optimize it a little bit. Let's try pressing that button, but yeah, I mean for an average unwrap, this is fine. Let's try some more advanced techniques. I'm gonna collapse it. And let's see. I think I need to go to unwrap again. And then there. There, all the way up to here. Select them all. Open the UV editor. And let's try pelt map. Start pelt. Start relax. Let it go for a bit. Commit. There you go. That's one way to unwrap it. Um, Second attempt. I'm actually, uh, I should explain a bit more about what I'm doing. I'm selecting this point to point seams. Let me disable the map seams. And from point to point, it will create an edge. And this will tell the belt mapping where the seams will be. And I'm going from corner to corner. To corner. 
There we are. And we're going to select one of the polygons and select expand polygon selection to seam. So it selects everything within those seam lines. There we go. And open the UVW editor. Belt map it. Start belt. Start relax. Commit. And do the same thing for the other side. And I'm going to do it a bit faster this time. There we go. I'll explain this whole bar in another tutorial as well. There. About there. Make it uniform in size. Put them together. And that's another way to unwrap them. And let me think. Just in case you'd want to know how to unwrap an actual sphere. Let's make one six form radius. Let's go with a little bit less segments for now. And like I said, if you just go to the unwrap, it already has something laid out. And it's not that bad, but it has its issues. So here's something that I learned on the interwebs a long time ago. Let's make it editable poly first. Why not? And unwrap and make a point to point seams. I think it basically does the same thing as here, but I want to have a bit more control over it. So let's disable the map seams. And my cat wants to say hello. One second. And let's make it all the way to here. And then cut one for every. Two. Perhaps I could even go for three, but I can try that afterwards. Let me just go for selection because it's faster. There. Uh, there we go. Select the whole mesh. Belt map it. Start belt. Start relax. And then you get something more like this. Um, let's try it a bit less complicated. Um, I'm not sure if I did the math right, but it should work with two between them. So nice that all the lighting is messing up my view. Okay, yeah. It doesn't really work. Let's make another sphere for that. Sphere, boom. Let's make it. Um, I think it was 18, but I'm not entirely sure anymore. Let's try real quick. Uh, unwrap. I think it works this way. Let's say this is the long one. Then let's do in between. There we go. And let's do the same here. This is the there. And now if I'm correct and I help map it. There we go. It almost looks like some weird Batman sign. Just gonna let it go for a few seconds. Commit. There. Uh, let's just move it on smaller. Another way to help map the sphere. I think that's about every way I know of help mapping spheres. Well, there might be another one. Let's do it real quick. Um, let's make it. I think 16, for instance. You can always add more if you want to. Make another editable poly. And this one doesn't always work fine and requires a bit more work in your Photoshop workflow, but let's just do it. I'm just going to go with the flow. 
sexual edge there. And select all the faces on this side again. Let's open the FW map. And then just belt map it. Start belt, start your legs. Commit. And the same for the other one. Start belt, start your legs. Commit. And maybe fuel will work. Doesn't really help. So let's cancel that. Back to custom. And there you have it. There. Multiple ways to unwrap a sphere. Uh, I hope this helps. I mean, I really dislike using spheres, but there's always use for it. And I don't think I have anything else to say. There you go.